Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see out here. Like, it's just white. White everywhere. On top of that car right there is like, I don't know, a foot and a half piled up. It is so snowy here, you wouldn't believe it. And it's so crazy because I moved here. It was one of the reasons when I was looking up all the places, like good places to retire and stuff. And the temperature was so uh, between 35 and 75 all year. And <laughs> certainly it's not been that. It was, it was like, this, this is the kind of snowstorm that was my dark night snowstorm where it was, but it went on for eight. Trixie! God, that scrounge. Uh, it went on for like eight months though. Uh, like this. It was halfway up the house on the sides. It was fucked. It was just non-stop snow. And the, um, but anyways, this reminds me of it. It's so cold. But last night the power went out right when we were going to bed. And um, then was out for a long time. And then it started coming off and on, off and on, off and on. And in between it going off and on in the middle of the night, and waking up every time, all of a sudden, you just don't realize how much noise is going on all around you until there's none. Then you realize, oh my gosh, but there's so much noise around us that we don't notice. And then when it goes off, um, I can be dead asleep and the power goes off and it, the silence wakes me up. So um, anyways, and in between all of those wake up, Stella was um, just crying and crying and crying and pacing all night. So I probably have even bigger bags under my eyes than normal. I am so tired. I I just I I'm just you know it's just part of my existence at this point. Just uh, be tired and loopy. I don't know. And uh, one of the things I was thinking about though is that um, I curled my hair this morning because I wanted to check out this because um, my daughter's gonna be leaving and she has this curly thing. So I decided I want to check out my hair and see if I want one of those. And it's kind of like a caveman hair. Uh, but when I wear my hat, I like how it looks with my hat. So, and I like to wear hats. Um, anyway, so, um, uh, what I was thinking about was that there's many of us that are here to light the path to righteousness. Righteousness being the, I, I think a lot of these words kind of need to be identified e by each player that is even representing any aspect of spiritual growth because the words are so manipulated and I've found so, so strongly that saying certain words that people don't hear what you're saying. They only hear the words and they translate the words into what they mean to them. So it's, as I, like I keep saying, there's such a communication gap and I keep seeing it as a consciousness becoming more alert and aware of its uh, surroundings. But one thing don't forget is that uh, a lot of people bl block their own path because they, they can't see, you know, the light that someone's leading the path because they're so busy judging that person. They can't see beyond their judgment. So they're going to find that their judgment was um, hindering them through this period of time. It's going to be hard on a lot of people. A lot of people don't have that awareness right now what's holding them back it has a lot to do with judgment and um and that's why that's so present in our society right now you know about racism and uh, you know, like i said in the shows it keeps showing all of these different kind of beings and stuff that and it always is um the minority that's getting suffocated by the majority and um oh one thing too and uh, i was watching which of this morning i am having the worst time I, it just it has not gotten any better at all. It only has gotten worse. I'm trying to find something to watch. A lot of times I just put up music or like this high frequency music. I was listening to a lot of Christmas music before, but now it's like Christmas is over. So um, now I'm back on the frequency music, but trying to find shows like a start stuff and it's like, ah, oh. it either gets like too much ridiculous sex for no reason or um, too much violence for no reason, or they're, you know, doing their whole uh, cultural awareness, propaganda, promotion in so many shows. The programming is so apparent that it's like, you can't barely stomach it. It's like their creation of their woke society is it's disgusting. 
It's so, it's so controlled. <laughs> These people who don't, you know, they don't even realize because they're so busy judging, they can't see, they can't see the truth. They can't see the forest because all they can do is look at each tree and judge each tree. Um, anyways, uh, I don't even know if that makes sense to that statement, but uh, that's what I see. And, um, but I think that it is important because every one of us who can see needs to help show the way to others. Because, you know, all of our souls want the same thing. We want to be connected. We want to feel love. We want to feel like we matter, like we have purpose. And, um, you know, like our life has meaning. Like there's some point to all of this. And there's been so much manipulation. So, you know, that's a journey for a lot of people who are just getting started and figuring out, like, what does it all mean? What's it all about? They've just been told and they just believe what they're told. And everything they're told now is falling apart. So, uh, anyways, for me, like, righteousness, like, the path to righteousness is the path to feeling good about yourself, feeling connected. It is what I talk about all the time, letting go of the burdens that hold you back. And let, um, because it is, it's like weights that hold you down. And it all has to do with vibration. It all has to do with release. It all has to do with your soul journey. It has to do with your expansion of self and your consciousness. And, um, you know, of course, any consciousness would want to expand itself because that is, um, you know, I mean, you are more of you the more you expand, the more you know and understand yourself, the more you can represent what you believe you are. And if others can't see what you are, that's on them. There's so many people who they can't see. Like I've said so many times, they can't see because of their own judgment, but they can't, um, it, it blocks them from so much information. Uh, but they don't see it as a source of information for them because they're too busy judging some aspect of uh, these people or whatever. I mean, I see it all the time. I live it. So, um, uh, anyways, what I was going to say, um, I had a whole bunch of things. I even wrote some down this morning again, so I won't forget. Oh, let's see what I wrote. I don't even know if I finish it in my sentences. I'm really tired. I probably shouldn't even do this when I'm tired, but I'm just like, you know, why pretend like I'm something I'm not? I'm just a regular person, just like everybody else. You know, we all have bad days. We all have days we don't sleep. We all have days we're grumpy and irritable, especially when dogs keep you up all freaking night. Um, it's like having an infant again. Um, what I was going to see. Don't oblige your channel. Oh, yeah, that whole thing. Oh, you know, also when I was talking about telepathy yesterday, you know, I was talking about such a projection of your voice, your inner voice, you project it in your head. But I forgot to also say, it's also directing it towards somebody. Like, get maybe I did say this, I don't know. But get a vision of the person you're communicating with, you know? Get them in your head, and then you start projecting it is like you're thinking your thoughts towards them. And then, you know, start paying attention. Just do little ones at first. You know, try little, like, uh, sending thoughts to somebody to call me, call me, call me. And then see. Because even if they don't call you right then, they might be busy. But see if they don't, um, when they do call you again, say, Oh, man, I just kept thinking I needed to call you. I kept feeling like this nagging feeling I needed to call you. I can't believe how often times I go in to call somebody and they call me right then. It's like we constantly have telepathy. We just, we're not in control of it yet. So it's a practice, you know, practice doing those little things. Practice sending messages. Not in the sense of like, this is where it starts getting into magic and dark magic and interfering with other people's energy. You don't want to do that. You don't want to be like sending them control messages and you know, doing ceremonies over somebody and stuff, like, you don't want to do that, because you're interfering with people's free will, and there is, like, a punishment to all that, you know, it's not like a punishment, like, you're gonna go to hell, but you have to put things back in order, you can't mess with other people's free will, and that's one thing, too, is when I was watching The Witcher this morning, I had this creature on there, I don't remember what they called her, maybe she was called a siren, I don't remember, 
um, but she lived off of blood, of course, and, um, you know, she'd eat the townspeople all the time, of course, like all this stuff that I'm sure has been a part of human existence, I'm sure that we have been fed off of, and I'm sure that we still are being fed off of, and people disappear all the time. And, um, and then when that, I've heard this by so many different people at this point, by different things like the QHHT, the, um, the whistleblower secret program, space program people and stuff, but there's a whole thing of human trade and some of it is for food source and it's planetary, it's out, it's, uh, out there. It's not in here on earth, but they do their whole thing on earth too. Like it's, you know, we are animals. That's all we are to, to uh, you know, I mean, we're sophisticated animals. We have to put on clothes and form sentences and we have a deeper understanding and we want to get to know ourselves more. We want to understand more of our purpose. So it makes us more sophisticated animals, but still we are animals and we are food to some people. Um, oh, but the path to righteousness. So to me, I feel like I'm holding the, the lantern to truth to inner exploration, to uh, letting go of things and um, feeling good about yourself. And I keep skipping all around because now I'll pop back into my head about the siren lady. So on The Witcher, she was, um, she would make this, like she looked like she was screaming and she get multiple more teeth out. But she was, um, they made it look like it was a frequency coming out and I was thinking, you know, there's, I'm sure, so many uh, uh, beings that can use frequency in that way to, as a weapon, you know, that they have that much mastery. But uh, another thing, too, is to remember when it starts to come into these more sophisticated beings that have uh, a lot more skills than they do, that um, they also they have to be high vibration, like the, these lower, in order to do something like that, say, to be a being that you could, you know, kill people with your frequency by screaming out your frequency or whatever, and you had control over it. But you wouldn't be a high vibration person and want to hurt, destroy another person. So you're a low vibration person. So let's say you, were born over and over and over again. It's kind of like the Lucifer story, you know, you were born over and over and over again. You go down, or you, you know, ascend, you you have powers and stuff, but then you descend and either you get caught up in what's going on or you purposely come back because you want to uh, uh, explore, you know, like the command you have over others. Like they do get, because we're seeing it happen. They do get like this God complex, like all these, even here on earth, we have all these scientists who want to, I mean, it's going on in CERN. They want to create, they want to make the big bang. They want to create creation. They want to try and make souls or open up this portal, portal to souls or something, whatever they're trying to do, it all has to do with, um, you know, that. So it is kind of so many beings they, you know, they go through a certain part when they come here, then they want to create, like they want to see themselves as gods, just like on here, what's going on here. These beings that have, you know, created these avatars and think that they can take over, it, it created this whole reality on this planet. And it's, like, there's one group that created the reality, there's another group that created the avatar, and then there's nature, our natural God, a creator of creation. And so these other beings try and match what a natural creator can do, but they can't. And it's all done with manipulation. And that's where you have to put things back in balance when you get them all out of balance like that, which they're doing, getting everything out of balance. But that is where low, that low vibration has to be down in a place like this. Like you can't take this kind of uh, dominance and put it into a high vibration place, like where you think of six, seven, fifth, whatever dimensions, which is all a state of mind. So you can't be in that state of mind and want to hurt others or control others. So that's a lower state of mind, even if they have more abilities, which they can end up losing their abilities as well. You know, it depends on a lot of factors, but everything around us is really 
supernatural and magical. And it's only the reason we can't see it is because we don't believe it. Once you start believing it, you start seeing it, it starts being in your awareness and you start knowing it's real. But there's so many people who don't. But um, anyways, I had that on my mind because I think that's where you get the idea of like demons and stuff. But see, they have to, uh, other beings that are in like that kind of um, way of being, they can't, they're not in a high vibration place. You can't go up and be, this guy's over, she's kind of crowding me over. She stayed up all night, now she's uh, been sleeping all morning. So, um, and I don't know if it was because of the quietness too, or it was making her, because I'm sure there's a lot of noise outside with the snow falling, the trees look so heavy. A minute ago, there was a big uh, thing where a whole bunch of snow fell and did a white out for like uh, 30 seconds or something. There's so much snow out there. It's crazy. We go from the floods directly into the snow. It's reminding me of Texas, uh, especially when the power went off last night, you know? And we, um, now we're out of wood. We went to go buy wood the other day. The guy didn't have any more out. And um, I don't know, we've got a rough week and a half to get through for sure. It's just snow and freezing temperatures. And, uh, and the snow's so heavy, I'm sure we'll be out of power again and you can't, uh, if you don't have wood, I gotta go get some more wood, but you can't drive because the snow's too deep. So I'm just gonna have to get wood from the neighbors or whatever. It's just, uh, even when you're trying to prepare, you just, you know, sometimes you can't be comp completely prepared for everything, you know? And it always, uh, you know, this whole time since they've been saying, you know, be prepared, have a couple weeks of food, be prepared. And I kept doing it and doing it. And it always, shit always seems to happen when you're at the end of the two weeks. And then you gotta start going into your, your surplus or whatever, which is just a bunch of beans and rice and shit. So, I don't know. And you know, another thing, even when, cause I don't put the generator on at night, like the power went off at night, but why are you gonna put it on at night? You have all the lights off anyways. Um, Today, if it would have still been off, I would have had to put it on just to have some light and uh, you can turn the TV on, a refrigerator and stuff. And then plus gas is limited. Like all of our resources are so limited right now. It's all on purpose. And I saw um, this morning when I went on YouTube, I, I like to go in and check my thing. Well, I had a notification that we had a new person join. Um, I know it's weird because there's 120 people and I've only gotten notified of maybe, I don't know, 15 of them. So, I don't know. I know that they are, whatever they're doing to my account, I don't even know how anybody finds it. I don't know how 120 of you found it. I mean, I know that the TikTok thing was helping when I was doing that for a while. There was people coming from that. But yeah, I don't know where they've got my stuff placed, how they keep me hidden like that. Because I see other people, um, I don't know if they talk as crazy as I talk about some of the stuff. Like, I don't know if, if they're, because uh, to me, a lot of groups just talk about, like, their one thing that they know about, like, you know, New Earth or, like, certain people just, like, manifestation, 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 ego work, ego, you know what I mean? They'll just talk about the same things over and over. So, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know, somebody would have to tell me, like, if I'm just saying the exact same thing as other people, because I don't go out and look and see what other people are saying. I'll see, like, little headline things when people pop up. Oh, but the headline in Nigeria that I was going to say on the YouTube thing was um, their biggest grocery store burned down. So, so you know, I'm going to fuck them all. How are they going to get food? Like, and all of this stuff is being done on purpose. It's not like, oh, it's just coincidence, like all this stuff is happening and all this weather interference and everything. I mean, they're doing it all so much on purpose. And, um, and it's so crazy because you have to, your awareness has to be the place to start seeing it. Like you have to, and it, what I've noticed is it has to be something that affects people. Like even when things affect them, they still, well, it's climate change. Ah, well, that's the way it is. 
you know, quit thinking things are gonna go back to the olden days. You know, those days that you grew up in are past. Those are long gone. This is the new way of life. And it's acceptable. This is acceptable. I don't understand this. Uh, I, I, all I can think of it is that this, this generation that is willing to accept this tyranny and overstepping of the government and um, not questioning things, not looking into things, it's all part of the programming. They were just got so deeply programmed and indoctrinated and they're having the hardest time breaking free. And I don't know, I just know the people who I know who are still, and it definitely seems to be in an age range, but I don't know. Because I haven't talked to my siblings still, and they're close to my age, and, and my aunt, yeah. She's like in her 70s, and she's like uh, completely convinced of everything. Like, if you don't even think about moronic, and, and, like there's nothing, not a thing that even gets them to. But anyways, uh, so to me, the, the path of righteousness is to live, live right by yourself, you know? To live where you feel happy, you feel connected, you feel like you are your best self. Like you could still, I mean, I'm not saying I'm my best self, like I'm never gonna improve. This is me, and this is, I reached my goal. Now I'm my best self. That's not what I'm saying. I think it's a continuous kind of evolution of being, you know? So, but it definitely becomes a point where you start feeling good. You get out of that feeling of just trying to survive and feeling bad all the time. There's still challenges, you know, there's lots of challenges getting through like every freaking day, most of 2021. Now I decided, okay, because this shit ass freaking winter thing going, oh, I can't believe it, the water floods and now the snow floods. It's like, there's so much snow. I, I mean, I may have to go up and clear off the roof. I don't even freaking know. It's like, oh my God, I moved here because it wasn't supposed to snow. I'm right back, I mean, God damn snowstorm so um uh but when i was saying that it made me think of something else uh because uh was something else i wanted to say um i'll have to think of it in a second um let me see because i know i had written some more stuff down and you know when i was talking about doing the automatic writing now uh, um that is where you do uh you know, to really start doing it good, I think, is um, just stay focused on what is being said because it's real easy to start trying to complete the sentence for them and to um, question them. But it's okay, I think, to question them. I mean, like, I'll say, explain that more. Like, I don't understand what you're talking about. And they'll explain it more. And they always try and give you visuals so you can understand their concept. But like I said, it's all a translation. So sometimes my visuals may make no sense to someone else, but they make total sense to me, but they know how to communicate to you. That's why it's super important for each person. Don't go to other people for their communication. Like go and listen and try and see how other people do it so you can start doing it for yourself if you're having problems. But don't rely on other people's communication because it's all an interpretation and it's how what they need to know for their time, you know? Because we are always growing and expanding and stuff we are always changing we are always having to adapt and um you know that's the process of growth and that's what we're here to do <laughs> um let me see there was oh, i really wanted to say what it was i was gonna say about the oh was it something oh the few oh that's what it was so now that it's just like this like, shitty fucking winter thing now I was like, I think I'm just gonna start planning um, my like spring and summer or something. Just try and focus on something that is more pleasant. I think I'm gonna try, I feel so certain like this, there's gonna be a big uh, change in the financial thing. Like especially, I think something is gonna happen. I don't know, maybe my case is gonna settle finally, who knows, but I think something big is gonna happen. And then, um, and see, when you're manifesting, 
It's just, to me, I just know and I get this continuous communication that something is going to be happening. So it is kind of like preparing for it or whatever. Um, you know, just staying on track of like, okay, well, I know what I'm manifesting. I know what I'm here for or what I'm going to do. So start preparing for it. But so, um, but you never know when it's going to come and you never know how it's going to come. You just have to just know that something is going to come. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. Um, but so I'm going to, um, what I want to do is when there starts being more of a flow of money, I'm going to um, start doing a bunch of work on this place. Like winterize that building, build that other room back there, do that deck, and um, do some more repairs. Like I need to put a new tub in and a new floor. Cause that tub is like that, um, you know, the, what is that called? Porcelain is kind of out in spots and it uh, makes it rough. So it's a real tub. Like I could probably get that one redone, but I might just get a lighter one. Everything is really crowded around here. I just gotta see. I'm just gonna have a worker do it. I'm not doing this stuff now that is left. But I have a bunch of those kinds of things. And then I'm gonna buy a camper or something. And so I'm just gonna leave here and let the workers work on it while I'm not here and go out and just travel around. Just and still just go do on some road trips. Only because I did the one, you know, for Oregon, and there was way too much interstate driving, especially the five through, even going all the way down to California, and five becomes like 45 lanes or some shit, you know? It's ridiculous. Um, but uh, when I was going through uh, Seattle and even up by Portland, it was just so much traffic and it's so chaotic. God, especially through Seattle. Oh my God, right in that part where the five is, is the worst. Because uh, you're going all the way to like over by Olympia and Tacoma and Seattle and you're coming up the other side from the coast. And it is, oh, it's hellacious traffic. So I want to stick with the state highways, but I want to get some kind of camper or something. I told my one granddaughter, I would take her to the Rockies. We were going to go to Mount Shasta Oh, of this summer, but then it started with the fires, and then it was like smoke, and I'm like, I am not driving through a million fires to get to a place that we may be evacuated from, like, fuck that. So we're gonna try it again, and we'll try the Rockies or something, but I wanna go out and just do some like state highway kind of, because the state highways are so much more beautiful too. If you do the state highway through Washington State, which I totally would say do it, in Oregon State do it, oh my God, but Washington State, the state highway going back if you go from Spokane to so Spokane is one co one end of the state and Seattle's the other end so it's four and a half hours or so to drive five hours to drive across the whole state so if you start there and you do the state highways which it takes a little longer and you go back through where the apple country is there's a lot of apple farms which I don't know what's going on on any of them right now but there's some really cute little towns and stuff. But the um, the scenery, oh my God. There's a part that is kind of just like the flatlands, but there's a lot of farms around there. It's, it's interesting. But when you get to, I think it's the Okanagan mountain range and stuff. Oh my gosh. It is, oh. Yeah, you wanna definitely have cameras and uh, you wanna get, um, it's a lot of people go camping there. It is, oh, it's outrageous. It's so, it's like something you've never seen before. Well, I don't know, I mean, I don't know you, so maybe you have, but it's like something I had never seen before. And it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. But I wanna do some more of those state highway ones and just go, you know, and just get out of like, I don't know, just start moving, get movement back into my life. I'm <laughs> doing something. Because I don't give a shit. This is not this is not the new normal for me. This isn't okay. This isn't the kind of life that I'm willing to just accept. You know, you can only go out with these. You can only get food with these. You can only, like, all their bullshit. And people are like, well, that's the way it is. <laughs> no, well, you should just put that on. Okay, well, I'd be a complete fool. When you know something doesn't work, I'm going to put it on just to make someone else happy. Are you fucking crazy? Ugh. I don't know. But 
anyways i think that that's all we can just keep doing focusing on the future and focusing and and then keeping don't forget you got to keep your emotions in check because it's super easy to start getting all jacked up and be like oh fuck it's never gonna end <laughs> so, you know and then you get your emotions and then you got all these creepy beings around feeding off of your emotions so you know just when you start feeling yourself get out of control and worried and tense and scared you know, just figure out how to reel yourself back in. You know, like this vibration music or meditation or, you know, smoke and joint, I'm telling you. I mean, I'm not a drug pusher or anything. I don't think it's a drug though, but I know it's still in society, it's called one. But, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a medicinal herb that the planet offers you that gives you relief from pain and it gives you connection to them. You can hear, I, I can hear them so much more. And um, it relieves anxiety for a lot of people, you know? A lot of people use it for anxiety, you know? So, but there's things out there and that's where you gotta stop with the limitations, you know? They tell us like, oh, this is bad, that's bad. Which, no matter what, we're all gonna agree that certain things are bad. Certain things are not acceptable. Anything that comes to stepping on other people's toes, especially building children and stuff like that, like in hurting, no. All that stuff is not okay, but the other things like limitations over love, like, oh, I can't love that person because they're the same sex as me. You're, you're stuck. You're, you're missing out on love because you are stuck on what's on the outside instead of seeing what's on the inside. So see, you're limiting yourself from what could be a true love. Like, you don't know. There's something there, something and you wouldn't have the, the feelings that, you know, that somebody's trying to show you something um, for yourself. So that, to me, I think a lot of people limit themselves by that. Like, uh, with love, I think a lot of people, like, limit themselves. There's so many things about food, and, oh, there's a huge, you see it all falling? I was loud. It was like a loud, like, uh, some of them must have fallen off the roof, and now it just looks totally white out there mess and it's just gonna keep going like there's nothing like uh, you know go out and do what even Stella went out and walked and it's like up to her stomach it's so freaking deep and she's tall she's really big um but anyways you know I don't remember what I was saying then probably some ranty thing but just um you know just focus on yourself that's all you can really do in all of this stuff is just keep trying to you know, stay focused on the light at the end of the tunnel and, you know, get through this the best you can and, you know, figure out what works for you. Br breathing techniques are really great. And don't forget before when I was talking about doing the breathing techniques, like when you do that and then you do you like that, when you release it hard, like or a hard one like that, breathe something out. like. Release tension, release anxiety, like breathe it out and you'll feel it, like you'll feel it exit. You have so much more control over energy than um, people just don't realize how much control that they have. And uh, you know, this is so much about claiming things for yourself as a soul that has expanded and grown and known its own power then, you know, claiming your own power and uh, claiming the, your abilities to control your own existence with, with energy, energetically. Um, I'm just getting way too many things going in my head. Uh, so I think I, um, I, I'm sure I gave you a few things to think about. So, um, you know, that's all we can do is, um, you know what's weird too, just uh, for this one thing. I don't know if you've ever been watching somebody and you know they're talking to you and that all of a sudden it's like you can feel what they feel inside. Like you know, like it's like you all of a sudden you can feel what they feel inside and you feel like this connection or something and you understand them on this other kind of level or something thinking about that the other day like how much really that we 
have those kinds of things. Like we have these connections, but we block them because we don't believe that things like that could be real because we don't, we haven't fully accepted like the supernatural and all of our abilities as supernatural beings. So anyways, I'll just go off on another thing. And so I've been 35 minutes. So, um, yeah, I'll just, if, if I don't come on and say anything, just figure we don't have power and I can't. So, um, otherwise I'll see you tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye.